Hi, I'm going to show how to make a really good router out of a standard PC. Uh, so I'm going to download a, a router firewall software from a company called Halon. Uh, H-A-L blah blah blah. You probably see it on the video. And so we're going to download. Router download. And here we've got a few versions. Uh, we're going to go for the screen, uh, you know, standard video CRT version. The other one is for serial console, and I'm going to go for the 32-bit version because I'm not sure if my computer's got the um, 32 or 64 bit processor. And uh, as you can see, I have this uh, USB stick memory thing, uh, which I'm going to use as a storage. And so to start with, I'm just going to unmount it because if it's mounted I can't write a raw image to it, so I press unmount um, and then there's a little guide here um, I'm gonna run this command uh, right here to write the uh, image file to the USB stick so I'm gonna go like um, first I'm gonna become root by typing uh, sudo s and uh, then I'm going to run that command they suggested by dragging my file from down there and pipe it through dd and I need a block size and my output file is going to be um, it's probably going to be disk 1 I don't think you can overwrite your own disk but uh, don't mess with your disks uh, so I'm going to press enter and uh, now it's writing and it's going to take like a minute or so. And uh, in case you want to make a router out of um, like a dedicated uh, hardware appliance like this one, uh, you can buy this stuff from uh, websites like um, there's uh, one called PC Engines or something like that. Yeah, that's right. A company from Switzerland, I think, and also in the U.S. there's a company called Soekris, like that. Yeah, they also build um, special hardware that you can use as a router or a firewall. And in that case, uh, I would have downloaded the uh, this version with a serial console. Uh, instead of a uh, uh, screen and uh, in that case the procedure would be the same I would use like um, CF card to USB adapter like this one so I would basically plug it in and I would overwrite it just as with a USB stick and uh, yeah use it as a hard drive in the uh, appliance uh, let's see how our Phone's going. It's not ready yet. All right. In the meantime, I can show you on my computer here. Uh, I've uh, went into the BIOS, the BIOS thing, and uh, made it boot out of a USB device so that uh, it won't boot off any hard drives or anything like that. Because we we're only going to use the USB drive as the disk. Uh, so I guess we can just um, save this uh, like that. Alright, I think the disk is ready now. So, I'm just going to take the USB stick and put it into the server. And we're going to boot this thing up. And, uh, Yeah, I'm probably going to power it on as well. So, with a bit of luck this will work. Yeah. And so, now we're just going to wait for the operating system to boot. And uh, once it's booted, we're going to uh, 
we're going to configure some networking and allow it to download the latest version. Alright, so I'm going to have a Swedish keyboard layout because I'm from Sweden. And uh, we can see that uh, one of the network interfaces have a cable plugged in. Uh, I want to use that one, and I'm going to use DHCP. And uh, it downloads the latest software version and uh, reboots. And uh, I used to uh, have a mono wall or PFSense as this kind of uh, router of firewalls previously. But uh, this software has a few advantages, such as uh, an LTTP server, it's got a PPTP proxy and built-in routing and so on. It also has a command line config editor, which I think is pretty neat. And it's free as well, uh, except in the free version you can only have like 10 firewall rules. Uh, so you're going to be quite conservative when designing your uh, rule set, but uh, in my experience you can do pretty much with uh, 10 rules. And as you can see this is clearly OpenBSD based. So I guess this basically is uh, OpenBSD with a, yeah, some kind of thing going on in front of it. All right. So uh, it's booted up, running in demo mode, and I'm going to log into this uh, uh, website to administer it. So I'm going to go to 10.2.0.176. Okay, and I, also, I'm going to put HTTPS in front of it, otherwise, it won't work. And I shall understand the security risks of what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to use admin and admin because it's the default things. And I'm agreeing to all of this. And I'm reading all of this. And so the first thing I'm going to do is to, up in the right corner, press the uh, demo text. And I'm going to press this free button to switch it to free mode. So now it's free. And uh, I'm also going to go to network and basic setup and I'm gonna select my other network interface as the LAN. I'm gonna press save and I'm gonna have like I don't know 192.168.6.1 that's probably a good default net mask and we want a DHCP server I'm not gonna use this IPv6 right now. I'm gonna press save and I also gonna go to users I'm going to add a root user in case I want to uh, mess with the system in some way. Alright, and now that I've made all, all these settings, I'm going to go to configuration and click deploy working copy. And uh, you can see the changes that's been made to the system. And uh, I'm going to press uh, commit. And it's done. So now I'm going to plug my computer to the cloud like that and uh, probably I'm gonna get an IP address from it and it's gonna be available on 6.1 yeah so now I'm sitting um, behind the firewall and uh, on its uh, LAN network and uh, yeah I can probably access the internet and everything yeah so nice yeah that's it